Look at this slide called Unutilized Expenses Direct Groups. So first, what are direct groups? Well, direct groups for us are the groups that spend most of their time and most of their effort working directly on a sponsored project. Clinical operations, statistics, outcomes, etc. As opposed to an indirect group, which would be support organizations like communications, finance, HR, etc. So what are unutilized expenses? Well, in the project world, we often talk about utilized versus unutilized. And the difference is, relates to the amount of compensation you pay somebody. And once they time track, you do a calculation that distinguishes between how much of their time tracking actually went on the project code itself, that's called utilized, and how much of their compensation stayed on the cost center, that's called unutilized. Don't get caught up too much in the word unutilized because you might look at me and say, well, I was busy and I was doing important things while that time was on the cost center. That's not the point here. Let's try to stay focused, if you will, on just the project um, financial aspects of this. So the unutilized time represents compensation that these folks and these groups did not time track to a project code. So why is that important? Well. It's just sheer economics. You've got to make sure you balance that utilized versus unutilized time because think of it as sort of a, the analogy of a factory, for example. Um, and I don't like to compare people to machines very often, but maybe this will help draw the distinction. If you have a factory and you've got a lot of machines in it, you only want enough machinery in there that's going to produce what you need to produce um, at the rate you need to produce it without having invested too much in machines that are just sitting idle. So in a sense, that's kind of what unutilized time is. We want to have enough people to get the work done um, and to allow them to have paid time off and sick time, you know, to attend staff meetings, all those things they have to do that are the quote-unquote unutilized time. But you don't want to have too much because if you have too much, then you're basically um, dragging down your bottom line performance, so to speak. So one metric we look at here. Uh, occasionally is what is really the impact of unutilized time and how does that tie back to when we look at utilization percentages for people or groups. So I'll just give you a quick stat on that. Um, roughly, if we miss our utilization targets overall as an organization by 1%, and normally we stay in the sort of mid to high 80s is kind of on average where we are, a 1% decline and our utilization translates roughly into a $1.4 million negative impact to our bottom line. So that's why it's important. When you get to the size we are and the number of people we have, utilization becomes, it's just a, uh, the law of numbers, in a sense, of big numbers. The bigger that number gets, the bigger impact it's going to have.